First time we execute Rider, it will prompt us whether we want to import settings from a previous installation. Now at this point, we can also click on settings from another ID such as IntelliJ IDEA or WebStorm, or just leave the option to not import settings. We then click OK, and Rider will take us through a couple of screencasts to customize the environment. We can choose to begin with the actual theme, whether we want a light theme or IntelliJ IDEA's famous dark color theme. Next, click Key Maps, and here it's important to decide how you want to use Rider based on the keyboard combinations that you want to use. So if you are a ReSharper user that is coming to Rider and you've been using the Visual Studio Key Map in ReSharper on Visual Studio, then select this option of Visual Studio. If you've been using the ReSharper Legacy Key Map on Visual Studio and ReSharper, select the middle option. Last but not least, if you have been using any of our IDs, such as IntelliJ IDEA, WebStorm, PyCharm, etc., then you can select IntelliJ IDEA Key Map. Now, this is a little bit different from the other two. In particular, we have, for instance, Double Shift for Go to Everything, whereas in Visual Studio and ReSharper, it is Control T and Control N. If you're on Windows, this will automatically be updated to reflect the keyboard bindings for Windows. Click Next. Configure the launcher script to be able to open files and projects from the command line. You can leave the default in most cases. And finally, start using Rider.